Here we go. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. This is the GSOC 2022 office hour. Now on the regular schedule, but not on the regular Zoom meeting. I apologize for the inconvenience of having to change um, the, the meeting. So welcome everybody. Uh, we have uh, Vian and Chris on the call, and um, let's let's go round. So this, this is fairly open uh, meeting. So uh, let's make it a little bit like a, a stand up where you do a short summary where you're standing with your project. And especially, do you have uh, impediments or things that are preventing you to move uh, as expected? So, uh, Vian, let's start with, uh, with you. So you're working on the pipeline step documentation. Tell us um, what's happening. Um, yes, so uh, the project is going on great. The, so within this community bonding phase, uh, we were able to uh, have a dedicated meeting towards the project along with Christian. So Christian had organized that for us. And we have set the regular uh, project time, project meets to be at Tuesday um, for uh, 1600 UTC. And um, we have also decided to uh, use the docs uh, Gitter channel for, uh, for our project. So we are able to actually uh, also put up some pull requests regarding the same and get the feel around the project. Uh, in addition to that, uh, uh, as Christian uh, asked me to do, I've written an epic on uh, Jenkins Jira as well for the entire project. So we'll be tracking the project's progress using that epic. And within that epic, uh, we are creating two stories. So these stories would la largely classify the work that I'll be doing for the two uh, two coding phases. So within that particular story, we'll have a list of tasks which which are uh, which I need to be uh, doing in order to get th that task completed. So I've also created that story uh, along with that. Uh, and uh, 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 parallel to that, I have also uh, since the first task will be more uh, UI related, so I've also created uh, a wireframe for the landing page of the pipeline steps which I'll be presenting in the uh, docs office hours today, uh, which is at 1800 UTC. Um, and uh, so we'll just get a, get an approval of all the community members, you know, how they feel about that wireframe, whether they require any changes to that. Um, and then we can go about uh, thinking of a possible implementation. So there will be around two or three different layouts, one for the landing page, one for the plugin page, which has all the step details. And then finally, we'll have to come up with the uh, page for the parameters of those steps. So this is a step-by-step -step process. So I'm like on the first step right now. And yeah, I think it's pretty great. Okay. Enjoying yeah. yourself? Learning yes, things? <laughs> okay, I see so that. I, a, I, I see quite that. Quite a lot the... of new things uh, with this already, like 10 days, just 10 days and already okay. doing many new things. So yeah, it's great. A lot of time is spent in communicating, explaining, writing notes and things like that. This is important. So this, that way you get uh, uh, everybody uh, together. Are there things that are uh, worrying you or that, that in, in this particular bonding phase or things that where you don't feel that easy? Um, yes, so uh, the basic thing, so that day we were discussing for quite long about the changes that we have to make to the content of the documentation. So the, uh, the changes that we need to make are a generator, which is the main backend behind that. And to that, uh, we have discussed some possible solutions. Uh, but the thing is that as of now, none of those will solve the main concern of the users, which was uh, regarding the examples, the presence of examples to the steps. And that is really hard to do automatically unless we are able to emulate the snippet generator on the website itself. And that is something that is 
pretty much out of the scope of the project right now. And as Christian uh, said, we there's a nice scope of research for that. So how can we get the minimalist element of Jenkins core, only the part that performs the snippet generation, the plugin manager tools, all those things. How can we capture that into a web-based application so that a user can specify what plugins they have and get the steps according to that? Because as of now, for example, if a user has uh, some seven or eight plugins and according to that, uh, they'll have probably 15, 16 steps for those plugins. They'll have to search for those steps within, within the 15 minute steps that we have on our uh, Jenkins.io website right now. So it is quite hard for them to understand which plugin is providing which step. So uh, for every step, we have some parameters. For example, for checkout step, for the SCM parameter, we have different SCM providers, Git SCM, CVS SCM. So for that, it is very hard for the user to know which plugin is actually providing that choice of parameter to them. So mm -hmm. that is something that we have to implement somehow. So and you have the are... summer to do that and to discuss <laughs> and, and see that. So, well, okay, that, that, well, I, we have the confirmation that you have a very interesting uh, project. Uh, Vian, uh, we're not late at all, but don't forget uh, to update the project page on Jenkins.io uh, so that I have a good idea, uh, that, so that the community has a good summary and if people want to follow, because I'm interested to, to follow the, the discussion, uh, so that, that I have the references there, where do the, the brainstorms in, in these happen? Sure, because I'd, so I'd like I'll if my- I'll probably send a pull request by tonight. So we have already am ready with a draft, just adding some links and some content is there. So we have a document in which we'll maintain the notes of all our meetings and also the links to the wireframes and the Epic on the Jenkins era. So I will compile everything and then I'll put up a pull request by tonight or by like tomorrow earliest. We, we have still have some time for that. So don't, don't worry uh, uh, too much about that, but I'll remind you, it will help me. So sure. don't worry. Okay, thank you very Thanks much for your update. Uh, obviously nothing is, is uh, blocking you uh in in moving ahead so this sounds uh, good so the next one uh well no i i'll i'll leave it so chris was earlier on the call but i'll move uh Dirash. Dirash, do you hear me yes i do hey great so sorry and I apologize for the mix up with the, 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 the Zoom channels and, and the, the way the Zoom channel works, uh, not being as usual, but uh, there were some, some technical issues uh, to get that sorted out, but I'm happy that uh, people were able to, to, to join. So happy to see you. So we're doing some kind of a, a stand-up like a round table to see where the projects are standing, what's happening, and particularly uh, try to listen, to, are there any impediments or things that, that, were, that don't work as expected or are more difficult uh, than expected? But, uh, I don't think so, yes. but just to explain the, the, the format. Raj, go go ahead. What's happening on your side? Yes. So I had a meeting with my mentors and we discussed about the project uh, as we planned during the proposal. And during that call, we went on some more detail about how we want to make it more concrete by adding few more details. So there were some changes and uh, they suggested me to start working on an architecture diagram so that we have something on paper for everyone to see and they can contribute their ideas and discuss and you know come to a mutually decided architecture so after that i started working on one and uh, i posted link of it on our Gita channel and i got some uh, really nice feedback from adrian and he told me like you do this do that then i made some changes and i updated the architecture diagram and i'm i'll I'll I'm waiting for him to like tell me more on that like does it sound good and any more changes of course there's going to be lots of changes this is just an initial diagram 
so this is where i am and uh, after this when it gets like at a good stage that we are convinced that this seems like a good architecture to work on then we will be like dividing it uh, in some workable tasks which might not be difficult because most of that is done during the proposal phase and then readjusting the timelines as needed before the contribution period begins i mean the coding period begins okay you have regular meetings uh, the communication channel is set up yes so I, okay it's it is on going every tuesday and okay good so i'll i need to make a note and uh, i didn't find the link but maybe i'll ping you directly because i'd like to i'm interested the four projects are super interesting so i'd like to listen in if my my agenda allows me so i need to check if the link is on your project page um obviously uh, uh the page is up and has uh, sufficient details so everybody can uh follow up uh, are yes. there any worries impediments questions or things where you'd need more community i see you you're working very closely adrian just joined so it looks very well up to now. Sorry for being late. I was in the in crate meeting. Sorry. No, no, no problem, Adrian. So Drash, for you, are there things that are blocking you or where you'd need help on? So currently nothing is blocking me, uh, but I do need help in coming up with like some concrete architecture diagram and it's currently in pro 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 progress and i am reaching out to my mentors and specifically adrian is helping me right now to you know make some changes yes so no hindrance. i've i've seen interesting conversations uh, uh going on there perfect uh good thank you Durash, for uh the the update thank you uh we have um Yiming on the call. Call, do you hear me? So the format is a quick stand up like uh, update. Where are you standing? What were the actions? Where, where, what's going on? And what I'm most <laughs> attentive to is, but I think I'm worrying too much for that, is are there any troubles or things where you'd need help? Yiming, tell us, where are you standing? Oh, okay. Uh, I hold the meeting with the mentors in a repository uh, maintainer. Uh, we talked some details about the project and then I wrote the timeline and the design doc uh, in detail this week. I think uh, I have finished then yet. So I don't have any questions I have up to now. I'm good. So I have seen the project page has been updated. So you have a regular meeting yes we have regular meeting in the on the monday on the monday i yeah. need to check i'm not oh, sure that the link to the meeting is uh, is uh, on the project page I'll, I'll check that so big question you mean are you having fun yeah cool <laughs> <laughs> this is the most important thing for me so this is Okay, that's good. So perfect. Thank you, Chris and uh, Yiming and uh, the other mentors for moving that forward. So great stuff. And then uh, let me look. Uh, uh, there's the, the fourth project, uh, Hill Cash and um, Mark Wade, but I don't think that we have somebody on the call for that project mark is currently uh, having important conversation with his grandchildren so he's he's away he's on holiday so we will not have an update on that does somebody want to add something ask a question or uh, share something with the group. So 
Okay. No, I think uh, we we also have a. I, I don't know if. Uh, sorry, Diraj, if you if you already said that, but we also have a, a um, recurring meeting uh, for the um, project else scoring system. Um, that is just to, to have a checkup. Uh, we moved uh, the idea from uh, of using Slack to having the Gitter channel, so that it's more uh, open. It's it's uh, easier so, for me to follow. Yeah, yeah. It, it's uh, again an idea from from Diraj. So thank you, Diraj, for linking that. Um, so really, really nice, really great to have you and thinking about that as well. Uh, so no, no, um, no. Uh, every everything. I think everything's good for us. We we are starting. So uh, yeah, that. Uh, I wouldn't say Diraj when when Diraj you said you, you were not blocked but in progress. It we are just starting the first week, so it, it's kind of normal having the starting uh, the uh, what we what we discuss on 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 Tuesday. So every everything's fine on on, on our end. Uh, per perfect. On the logistics, I will talk uh, with uh, Elisa. Who is on the on on the call here, trying to fix uh, the the Jenkins Zoom account so that we can use that uh, and use the initial link uh, that was done. I use my my private account here for the meeting. Thank you. And I I saw for the people who shared their camera a lot of smiles. So we're moving. We're starting the 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 the, the thing. The project's ideas are flowing all over the place, so it looks really great from where I'm I'm standing. So let's close the call here. Uh, we can meet uh, next week to see where where we're standing. And as usual, if something is really bothering you, you can reach out directly to me or to the org admins. Thank you very much. I'm leaving a little blank if somebody wants to add uh, something and then somebody I know says always, go, go, go. So have a nice rest of the day, everybody. Yeah, have a great day, everyone. Yes, Bye -bye. thanks all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you.